Hello guys, in today's video we are going to learn how to install the Phoenix OS which means the Android on your PC or your computer but it only supports 64 bit PCs which are Intel powered so if you have a Intel 64 bit PC so yeah please uh, get this and this is dual boot so your windows files won't be harmed nothing is harmed and you can keep both OS at the same time on your PC let's start so let's to download the uh, phoenix os installer from the links given below uh, you can download any version by going to their uh, site and then we will go to the location where you have saved the file and this is the phoenix os installer we will just open it and let so here see uh, please select type of uh, installation let me zoom a bit sorry for that uh, screen okay now it's gone so here it says write to your disk nah, like the USB disk means the pen drive you can use your pen drive uh, 64 GB or 32 GB for fast experience or you can directly install to hard disk without harming the windows OS so I will do this thing install to hard disk and here it says hard disk which hard disk to install so you can install it in your main hard disk C go to next and here is the data size you can choose your uh, android system internal storage it means the internal storage which you want to use for your android apps games and everything so i will choose like 32 gb and install now here you can see the progress bar this may take some time let the progress bar finish it work zoom it a bit here okay so this is the progress bar okay i will uh, skip this part let the progress bar uh, finish and if you face any error so if if stopped at the uh, middle uh, in somewhere middle and the progress is not showing so please comment i will skip this part now after 15 i think uh, like 12 to 15 minutes you can get this thing like uh, congratulations phoenix os has been installed successfully to see phoenix os folder reboot and select phoenix os so we'll just cancel everything make sure you can sell everything and now go to this power menu and just click on restart your pc or laptop will restart now you can try this on limited tablets too like the nexus 9 nexus 10 and nexus 7 yeah, it's very cool. It's currently running, running on 5.0.2 or I think 5.1.1 Lollipop. And it can be updated to Marshmallows. So you can enjoy some like Android versions. Which are some new like 2-3 uh, years old and that's new. Yeah, So you can enjoy them on your PC. Enjoy your apps flawlessly without hurting the windows system. While rebooting we can get these two options. Select Phoenix OS and click on enter. It will start detecting Phoenix OS. And here it says Android root x86. It means 64 bit processor. It, the system is initializing it will take some time so the features of this is you can run any android app available on the play store there were some uh, google conflicts before but you should update your uh, phoenix os to latest version when you Rebooted your phone, uh, rebooted your laptop or your PC. It only works on x86 PCs, which are Intel powered. So please don't try on 32-bit processor PCs. It can damage your bootloader. 
and it is like a dual boot so it's very safe so let this system initializing take place I will tell you what to do afterwards. after some time you can get this setup wizard screen so choose here English United States so it has only two languages now currently English United States and like the Chinese language click on English next and go accept and it says connect network so you can connect to your Wi-Fi or your mobile hotspot from here so I will skip this and connect later can use your setup username so I will set mine and finish now you can see the wonderful home screen and this is powered by Android Lollipop let me go to settings and show you so this is the settings and we can go to about tablet and it's running on the latest 5.1.1 lollipop version and it is going to be receiving the uh, marshmallow version soon you can see you can play this too here yeah. but it's too hard here yeah. like it doesn't it's too takes too big jumps so here you can see the status of battery 40% sim uh, you cannot insert a sim if you have a tablet like nexus uh, 7 9 10 or 5 fly device you can install this on and you can see that you get a good experience so talking about this you can get the airplane mode which is we get on the newest uh, laptops and here is the status bar the navigation bars you get a simple drawer and you can see apps installed my previous apps are also here and uh, many tons of tons of uh, Chinese apps are here and extra that's WPS mail and uh, all this music are Chinese apps so you can easily disable this by going to settings here settings and here you can go to uh, apps and you can uh, delete or uh, yeah uninstall things directly and send anywhere these are some apps I used before so this is like an update to me so this was the uh, Phoenix OS 5.1.1 running on Android you can also access your files from here but cannot uh, like the exe files only the files supported on Android are accessible uh, from your PC so you can watch videos and uh, pics but uh, about the battery life the battery life is not that impressive if you are using the uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8 you can use this Phoenix OS simultaneously you can boot it here and boot it there too but uh, speaking about the battery life, battery life is not that fair you can get uh, like screen on time means the uh, uh, the screen on time like two and a half hours or three hours. Uh, it, it's uh, dependent on your battery life. Uh, sorry, dependent on your battery, how much milliamp is. So this is for guys. Uh, this is the uh, Phoenix OS for you. And yeah, here you can say power off, so it can turn off your PC from here. So all the animations are like Android only and let's make hope that it will be uh, getting soon to android marshmallow and also i also have a uh, remix os uh, remix os uh, installing in this pc i'll make a video on it and it is running on marshmallow and it's like uh, some smooth stability so yeah please watch my other videos and stay tuned for more videos so please like subscribe and comment for any issues thank you goodbye